Scandinavian Design 101. I'm Sanna. I'm Andreas and we are two Swedes and we love design. Yeah. And today we're going to talk about a trend that most of you probably have already noticed. We might be a bit late to the party on this one. Nonetheless, what we're discussing are postmodern interior objects made from materials other than wood. Plastic, fiberglass, plexiglass, glass, <laughs> stone, almost any material, except wood. The focus is on weird, unique and colorful pieces. Sometimes these objects are so unconventional that they no longer resemble furniture. <laughs> Instead, they stand there like abstract and futuristic sculptures, bold, colorful and fun. And definitely the opposite of functionalism. <laughs> and a relevant question arises. Are wooden furniture out? We will soon show you some pieces of design nowadays seen everywhere on social media, in interior magazines, in music videos and yeah, literally everywhere. It's a bit hard to describe the aesthetic and not least because they're not really comparable and similar in style. But they all have some things in common. They can all be seen as a response to the modernist design principles that dominated the mid-century period. They challenge the strict functionalism and minimalist aesthetic of modernism by embracing eclecticism, historical references and a playful, often ironic approach to design. And even though they differ a lot in style, the designers behind these impressive pieces have all rejected the functionalist idea that form should follow function. Mm -hmm. And now let's take a look at some of these uh, design pieces. First out is the Zodiac Mirror, designed by Jean-Baptiste Fastres for the French company Moustache. It's made from a glossy ceramic that makes it look like if it's inflated. I love this simple and playful shape. It reminds me of the dog sculptures by Jeff Koons. Mm. And it's available in small, medium and large version. And price ranges from uh, $1,300 to $3,100 depending on size and finish. Next up is the remarkably popular <laughs> Roly Poly chair yeah. designed by the British designer Faye Too Good wonder if that's her name. I don't think it is. <laughs> no. <laughs> In 2014 for Driad, according to the designer, the smooth, rounded, voluptuous mm. shape was inspired by motherhood. And personally, I think it looks like the legs of a cartoonish character. Mm -hmm. And since it's molded from a single piece of plastic, it's durable and relatively lightweight and can even be used outdoors, yeah. which is great. Uh, I see this chair everywhere right now. This is the most popular uh, object on this list. <laughs> yeah. And even though it's not yet 10 years old, it's already become a design mm. classic for sure. A uh, new roly-poly costs just over $700 and a cushion can be added for about $300. I like that most of these are sort of cheap yeah or cheap. yeah i think i'm uh, it's a reasonable price for it 700 is. It is. and it looks like uh, homer simpson's uh, stomach and legs i think nah. <laughs> um the two shares him and her um, are also often seen in uh, contemporary interiors and they fit well in this playful modernistic aesthetic the italian designer fabio novembre was obviously inspired by the Panton chair, uh, but he gave them a, let's say, a personal touch mm -hmm. or something, yeah. They're produced by Casamania, and the price is just under 700 for the pair. Mm. And I, I only found them as pair. Yeah. Just as playful, but way more beautiful, mm. is the Hortensia Easy Chair, designed by the duo Andres Reisinger and <laughs> Julia Eske. Those are very difficult names. Really difficult. For Mui? Yeah. I don't know how to say that either. I really don't. It's made from a metal frame covered in foam and upholstered in a 3D fabric. <laughs> how great is that? On their website, one can read, This blooming beauty is inspired by the basic human need for warmth and comfort. Sit down and feel comforted. 
calm and soothed, as if you're sitting in a blooming flower, enveloped in smooth and gentle petals. <laughs> yeah. And I can only agree, actually. I think it is uh, beautiful. And if you want one, you'll have to pay around $7,000 which is not reasonable. <laughs> no, that's way more expensive. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's impossible not to mention the design studio Quibo and their crazy, cute and sometimes somewhat childish design pieces. The company was founded in 2016 by the Italian designer Stefano Giovannoni. Sorry, all Italian people for Sorry, our, everyone. everyone. <laughs> And what shares the products of the collection Quibo is that they are design objects that seem proper artworks, but they also have a strong functionality. And not least, most of the products are really affordable. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to choose a single uh, product from this innovative company, but the personal favorite is indeed the Giraffe in Love lamps uh, made from fiberglass. Yeah. It's available in several different sizes, from like a small uh, table lamp to a four meter floor lamp. Hmm. And prices vary from $480 uh, for the smallest version to almost 40,000 for the large one, but hmm. it's four meters. So yeah, I mean, it's yeah. like a proper giraffe. Yeah. Otherwise, the best known uh, Quibo product is probably the rabbit chair molded in a single piece of plastic. Yeah. And several different sizes and versions are available. And the standard version of, uh, of the adult chair is sold for as little as $270. Yeah. Very, very reasonable. Yeah. We must also mention the balloon chairs by the South Korean artist oh. Sung Jin Yang. And they're made from colorful balloons coated mm. in resin. And several different models are available. These chairs look quite fragile, mm. but they're really not since they're coated in seven layers of hard resin. A time-consuming process <laughs> that takes about a week to finish. Yeah. Yang explained the idea behind his furniture like this. Comfort is not my prior intention when I create works. They are not soft or comfortable, but they have stability when people sit on them. It feels like plastic stools. And they are. Yeah. These playful chairs uh, are far from cheap and no. should probably be considered to be just as much as sculptures as furniture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the armchair is sold for uh, 15000 and the stool 7500 Yeah. Mm. And then we have the bubble sofa, designed by the French product designer Sasha Lakic, uh, produced by Roche Bobbe? Bobois? Bobois. I, 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 I don't speak French. <laughs> you don't speak any language. No. It's organic in shape, inspired by minerals and natural forms with no straight lines. Mm. Lakic has a strong interest in technical innovation and had to come up with a new type of stretch fabric to be able to smoothly cover all these bubbles and curves. Mm. The bubble sofa is actually quite minimalistic, still playful and harmonious. The curved sofa can be yours for between eight and ten thousand dollars, depending on the choice of upholstery. Mm. Look comfortable. Too. Yeah, I think it is. And finally, let's take a look at the Boa Poof, designed mm -hmm. by the Dutch artist Sabine Marcelis for the Swedish brand Hem, means home. Yeah. The design consists of a foam-filled seed resting on a wooden frame upholstered in melange wool, sounds fancy, <laughs> uh, created using an innovative shape knitting technique that produces no visible seams or ridges. The result is simply a huge donut, <laughs> extremely soft in shape since there is no visible seams or other disturbing ridges. In a way, this is the ultimate organic furniture, <laughs> sculptural but still highly functional. And the price for, for one of these donuts is just under $2,000. Yeah. And yeah, and this was some examples of furniture uh, seen everywhere for the moment, <laughs> not made from wood. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you think about them? Uh, do you agree that wood seems to be out? Let us know in the comments below. Please do, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you!